Hello friends! We've been reading a lot of books about fruits and vegetables and different kinds of food. We also talked about how healthy vegetables and fruits can help us grow. So today we're going to read a book about planting vegetables. It's getting warmer outside and soon it'll be spring break. When it gets warmer, we can plant the seeds and maybe you can find a vegetable you want to plant this spring. Let's see what plants and vegetables the book will show us about growing and gardening vegetables. Growing Vegetable Soup by Lois Illert. Growing Vegetable Soup. Written and illustrated by Lois Illert. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We are ready to work and our tools are ready too. Here we have a rake, we have a shovel, and we have a hoe. We are planting the seeds. We have brown soil and a seed packet. They made little holes and planted green bean seed, pea seed, corn seed, zucchini squash seed, and carrot seeds. He's even wearing garden gloves. And all the sprouts. Wow, I noticed that not all vegetables come from seeds. If you see, green beans, peas, corns, zucchini, squash, and carrots, they were planted as seeds. But some vegetables I see are planted as sprouts. We have tomato, potato eyes, broccoli, set onions, peppers, cabbage. These are all planted as sprouts. Sprouts, as you can see, are parts of a plant or parts of the vegetable in this case that have already come out from a seed. And you can plant these in your garden. Oh, first you plant the seeds and the sprouts and giving them water. Here we have tomato, potato, green bean, carrot, cabbage, pepper, zucchini, squash, pea, onion, broccoli, corn, and he's using a watering can to water the vegetables. And waiting for warm sun to make them grow. So first, we made holes in the soil and planted the seeds and sprouts. Then we gave them water with the watering can. Now we're waiting for warm sun to help the vegetables grow. They're not seeds anymore and they're not tiny sprouts anymore. Now I see the leaves coming out of the vegetables. <gasps> and grow, they're growing even more. The leaves are getting even bigger. And grow into plants. Friends, look, now they're not seeds anymore. Now they're not just leaves anymore. We have flowers. This is squash blossom. Hmm, guess what vegetable comes out of a squash blossom? I'm pretty sure squash like this here. We have zucchini squash. See, the squash blossom is coming out of the same plant as a zucchini squash. We have peas. Look at the vegetables growing. We watch over them and weed. So you have to take care of the vegetables as they grow. Until the vegetables are ready for us, for us to pick. The vegetables grew and grew and now they're ready for you to pick. Let's think again. First, we put a hole in the soil and plant seeds or sprouts. Next, 
we watered the vegetable seeds and sprouts. Then we waited for the sun to come out and wait for the vegetables to grow. And we took care of the vegetables by picking the weeds out for them. And finally, the vegetables are ready for us to pick or dig up. Oh, I noticed some vegetables like carrots and potatoes, they grow in the ground. So you dig up the soil to pick the carrots and the potatoes and carry home. Then we wash them and cut them and put them in a pot of water. Wow, I noticed all the vegetables that he planted earlier in the book. He harvested and he picked all the vegetables and now he can cut them and put it in a pot of water. After he puts in all of these vegetables in the pot, what do you think he's making? Hmm, do you remember the title of the book? And cook them into vegetable soup. Wow, look at all these vegetables coming out of the steam. It must smell gorgeous. At last, it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. And we can grow it again next year. Wow, friends. They even give us a recipe on how to make the vegetable soup. I'll post it on Google Classroom so you can check it out with your parents. Friends, we talked about so many different vegetables and how the character in the book sowed the seed and the sprout, watered it, waited for the sun to help it grow, then pick the vegetables and finally make the vegetable soup. We saw so many vegetables like potatoes, carrots, onions, peas, zucchini squash, and so many more that I can't remember, but I know you do. Here's my question for you guys. If you make your own vegetable soup, what kind of vegetables do you want to put in your soup? And maybe you can even plant them over spring break. So please share what kind of vegetable soup you would like to make. Thank you, friends. Bye.